Hey, and welcome back to Cooking with Ro. If you were here last week, we went strawberry picking, and with our fresh bounty, we're going to make a dessert that requires only four basic ingredients. Fresh picked strawberries. I used about two quarter size baskets. Angel food cake. Now, I like to buy mine from the market just because it's so much work to make this at home, but if you have the patience, feel free to make one yourself. I'll leave my favorite recipe in a link in the description box below. Next, we're gonna need about a cup of sugar. And lastly, heavy whipping cream. Let's begin. For the strawberry shortcake recipe, I use both fresh cut strawberries and macerated strawberries. Let's cut half of our strawberries into fourths. These don't have to be pretty, just bite-sized, since these will go inside of the strawberry shortcake. Take half of our cut strawberries into a separate bowl. These we're going to macerate. Add about two tablespoons of sugar. Stir it, and then let it sit for 30 minutes. Then place them in the refrigerator for several hours. The water in the strawberries will seep out and create a strawberry syrup. Now the rest of our strawberries will be for decoration. You'll want to cut these into thin slices. The cross section of these berries should look like small triangles. I mean, just look at that. Isn't it delicious? There's absolutely no substitute for homemade heavy whipped cream. I'd highly recommend using an electric mixer since doing this by hand will be excruciatingly tiresome. You'll want to add in your sugar and cream into the bowl and ready to mix. You're going to want to start off slow and slowly pick up the pace. Then you're going to beat it on high until steep peaks form, but then stop immediately before it starts to cut. I'll show you how it looks like in the bowl. While I show you, let me explain to you why we're going to use heavy cream. Heavy cream, also known as whipping cream, is the thickest part of the milk that rises to the top due to its high fat content. With about 36 to 40% fat, it has one of the highest fat contents compared to other dairy products. Whipping cream only comes in about 30%. Meanwhile, your everyday half and half is about 10 to 18% milk fat. This is why it whips better and it holds its shape longer than its whipping cream counterpart which is why it's used for everything from pastry fillings to pipings. Once your whipping cream has started to form these ridges, take a spoon and grab a dollop of it. If you can tilt the spoon on its side and the cream does not slide off, then it is ready. And of course, a mandatory taste test. Putting it all together. Here I'm taking out my macerated strawberries that I made earlier and left in the fridge for several hours. Our setup has three of our strawberry bowls, our heavy whipped cream, and our serving glassware. Now it's time to put it together. Take your angel food cake and pull it apart into smaller pieces into a separate tray. We're going to be combining all of these ingredients into layers. To start, we're going to take some of our dried angel food cake chunks and place them into our glassware. Be sure to fill the bottom, but leave a small gap on the sides. Next, we're going to take our decorative strawberries and start to place them in the side of the bowl, placing them flush against our glassware. Since this is the decorative part, you're going to want to take your time with it and make sure that they are properly aligned and spaced out. As you can see, I've surrounded the entire bottom layer of the bowl with these strawberries. Next, we're going to scoop up our whipped cream and spread it across the layer of angel food cake. Be sure to cover it entirely and even it out. For our second layer, we're going to take our angel food cake and coat it with the strawberry syrup from our macerated strawberries. 
We're going to place them into the bowl the same way we placed the first layer, leaving just a gap for the strawberries to go around the sides. Next, we're going to take our cut strawberries and place them all over our angel food cake. Don't be shy and feel free to add as many as you'd like. Following that, we're going to take our macerated strawberries and also add them on top of our angel food cake, being sure to add even more syrup to the mix. Now, once we're done with that, we're going to go in with our second tier of decorative strawberries on the side, keeping them flush against the wall of the bowl, just like the first layer. And once again, we're going to add our whipped cream to close off this layer. Now for the size of my serving bowl, I'm going to do this process all over once more, leaving me with a tri-layered strawberry shortcake recipe. The first strawberry shortcake recipe appeared in an English cookbook as early as 1588 at least according to Driscoll's Berry Growers. By 1850, the strawberry shortcake was well known as a biscuit and fruit dessert and had gained quite the popularity in the United States. Now, as I'm sure you've noticed, this strawberry shortcake recipe has zero shortcake. I like to substitute it with angel food cake, but that's entirely my preference. Just adding our last dollop of whipped cream on top. And voila! There you have it. Your very own strawberry shortcake. It's delicious, fruity, fresh, and most of all, it's homemade. On a different note, my birthday is coming up, and it has me feeling all sorts of excited for this whole new start on YouTube and further creative ventures. Comment down below and tell me what have you done for your birthday during this unique period of time in history? As always, if you enjoyed this video, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll be back next week with another one. See you then. Ciao.